in Kittle, you can now have your mock-up right next to your design and change it in live time. We have released one of the most requested features, which is to have the mock-up in the editor so that you can make changes in real time. So let's take a look at how it works. So I have this really, really cool blueprint design, which by the way, if you haven't checked out the blueprint video, it's one of our upcoming trends for 2026. And I would highly encourage you to check that out. But in any event, we have this really cool blueprint design of a pizza here and we want to mock it up now over here when we clicked add mock-up before it would actually send you over into another kind of view another kind of editor but now if I hit mock-up it is going to go ahead and give me the default t-shirt here in the editor and then I can click on this I can size it up so I can already immediately see what this looks like on a shirt now it has this kind of grid system to it so I don't really need this in a shirt right now but I can just go over here to mock-up and I can just type in whatever I want let's say poster and we'll find something that works let's just go with this one because the background is dark and it kind of matches and so now I can just move this over here size it up a little bit and boom you can have your mock-up right next to your design let's find a little bit of a bigger one or a wider one yeah so maybe we're gonna do like I don't know maybe we're opening like a new pizza place or something like that and let's say we actually do want to do some merch let me go ahead and just type in shirt see what comes up for that and let's go with yeah, okay, let's do this one right here outside of a cafe. Maybe it's outside of the pizza place. And let's say that even if we don't want these little boxes and the grid, if I change it in live time, it's gonna go away. So for example, let's go ahead and take the grid away for the moment. And now you can see it changed it in live time. And even if we don't want this outline box, look over here while I click delete. If I click delete, now it's gone from the actual mock-up. Isn't that so cool? And even if I hit Command Z, it brings it back. So whatever you're doing to the left side, whatever you're doing to the actual design will show up over on the mock-up on the right side. So if I change the color, which is going to change obviously the color of just the design, we would need to go over here to the mock-up itself and we would want to also select that blue to see what it looks like. It's actually kind of cool with the black and the kind of neon blue. But again, if I hit Command Z and go back, then everything will change. So for example, if I just wanted to change the outline color or the text color from this off cream to maybe more of like a pizza sauce red or something like that, it'll do it in live time. Isn't that so cool? So now you don't have to keep flipping and flopping back and forth to have your design in one area Area, and then your mock-ups in another area and have to go back change it flip it all this kind of stuff and it's still super easy to utilize these so for example if I go to mock-up and you want to utilize this as a social post or a website graphic or something I can just convert it to an image very similar to how you would do this with Kittle flows it's the same kind of process and now here it is I can use it as an image by itself I can go up here I can export this whatever I want I can export it at three times I can still export it up here from the export settings in the top right I can make it a JPEG whatever you need to do it's the same kind of export settings as before but let me show you another really really cool thing about how the mock-ups are now in Kittle so you can see that the little Kittle flows dot is also showing next to this mock-up so if I go back to our original blueprint of course I could add a smart board like normal that you would see here I'm gonna get rid of that but if I select the mock-up and I click this little button it is going to give me a smart board that is now attached to my mock-up. Now, it's okay if your current setting for this shows this prompt box over here in the right side. We're doing a little bit of tweaking. I have an account that shows me a little bit of the tweaks that are going on. It's going to live most likely down here in the bottom area. I can turn this off. I can just click Kittle AI. It's gone. Okay, don't worry about it. It's the same functionality. So you see here the prompt. You see Nana Banana. You see all this stuff. You might see it over here in the right side that's okay all we're doing right now is just showing you the capability of continuing with a mock-up so for example you can add a smart board if you haven't watched any of the Kittle flows videos you want to go check those out on the channel for sure so you know exactly how Kittle flows works but now anything I type in here is going
going to utilize this mock-up and put it in a different thing. So now I could say something like change the setting of the person sitting to be inside of a, let's say, retro style pizza diner with red tile walls, a black sleek table and have the counter of the pizza place in the background with someone making pizza. And I'm going to keep this on Nana Banana. We have other styles that you can choose from. Again, you may see the styles over in the right. I'm just going to keep this on Nana Banana. And what this should do is take my mock-up, keep the same character that's sitting in the chair right there, and I just want to change the setting. Okay, I like this kind of style. I like that we can see the t-shirt really easy, really clearly. Oh, look at how cool this is. So it's changed changed where they're sitting in the environment okay so now we have this in a pizza parlor we have somebody making pizza in the background we have the red the classic kind of red tile black and white tile on the bottom and now you could start building out your pizza brand if you wanted to and I could even let's say I don't like the chair I could change it to a chair it probably makes sense for this the way that he's sitting but even if I just didn't want this I could say like extract the t-shirt by itself and create a flat lay of the shirt laying on the iconic red tile make sure you can clearly see the t-shirt design and we're going to be releasing some prompt guide videos i know that's something that a lot of people have wanted they want more information about how to prompt correctly especially now that we have so many models especially now that we have kittle flows you want to make sure you're doing things correctly look at this sorry i just i have to interrupt myself because look how cool this is so you even have the light reflecting here like from the ceiling and you have this amazing t-shirt design with the red tile in just a matter of seconds I've gone from having my one design over here to now showing on any of these and one more thing before I keep on talking about the prompt guides is if I were to come back and change this now you're gonna immediately see this change in the mock-up here we could go to where's our color our red right here and maybe we want to make that more of a yellow color Okay, we wanna make it more like yellow, maybe a brighter yellow, and you can see it here now. If I go back to this smart board, I'm gonna keep everything the same, but because now this has changed to red to yellow, if I regenerate, it may change a little bit of the setting, a little bit, but it is going to change the color of the design from red to the yellow that we just changed it to because smart boards are, well, they're smart, <laughs> and Nana Banana does a really good job. Okay, so it gave us a little bit of a different setting. You can see here this guy, I actually kinda of like this one, better the perspective he's a little bit closer to the counter he's watching people make pizza but you can see here that it's changed now I can do the same thing with this one click this one keep everything the same and again if you like any of those images before you change them you probably want to convert them to an image so that way you can use them or you could add a separate smart board to it I could have added another smart board to it and changed the design so look there boom that's almost the same exact design and what I love about Nana Banana is that it's keeping the design perfectly intact every single time there's no little nuance there's no little change the misspelling isn't incorrect but I mean think about how awesome this could be if you wanted to go change this design to something like coffee and then you change this to say coffee and now you can see I mean this is a little bit too big maybe we want to do like um Ah, lattes. Yeah, so let's say we had like a deconstructed coffee cup right here and you change this to say latte. I mean, just think about how fast your mock-ups are going to be, how easy it is going to be to make your mock-ups. And we can keep going with this just so you know. We could add another mock-up to this and it'll come down here similar to the way that smart boards work. So we can have multiple mock-ups. You don't have to like delete your mock-up and then add another one. We can just keep on clicking this and parsing this out to make more mock-ups and you can see our full catalog everything is here as you saw before now obviously this kind of design isn't going to work on every single mock-up so you might need to create a variation of your design for a business card or maybe you need to create a variation for a mug or something so it won't necessarily fit every single place but it will fit on a variety of the ones that are already kind of a rectangle but you can see here the proportion of it is not exactly perfect but it's still just so cool that now we have these two mock-ups if I start changing the perspective or the area of anything 
look at how you can see all of your mockups change in live time, which is a really, really cool and powerful thing that I think you're going to enjoy and get a lot of use from. So you let me know in the comments, are you excited about this update? Are you excited about using mockups in the editor? Are you excited about adding flows to those mockups, changing the imagery, changing the perspective? I'd love to see what you're doing and how you're using it. So if you could tag us on social, maybe you're going to throw up a video on YouTube for us to check out. That would be awesome too. We want to see your work. We want to see what you're doing and how you're utilizing Kittle so that we can keep making it better. So you let me know all of that in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any important updates like this. Make sure you check out our 2026 design trends report. That was such an amazingly fun video to put together. I know you're going to enjoy all those styles, including things like this blueprint style. And you go have a ton of fun in Kittle, and we will see you in the next video.